What's going on guys? If you've watched any of my videos, you've seen that I'm a huge Milwaukee fan. I've got pretty much all their tools, makes life so much easier. But what we've got today is an issue with a battery. So we have got one of the high output XC8 batteries. This one's less than a year old actually. But what we've got going on, see we've got three bars. This thing will not charge completely. Three bars you see, we throw it on our charger, instantly goes to green. So what we probably have going on with this battery is one of the cells in here got uh, dropped down too low. So we're gonna go through, test each cell, see if we can figure out which one's low and see if we can bring this battery back. First thing we gotta do is just remove the screws. I've already done that. You've got four screws, two long ones, two short ones. Case will come off. You can fish this hole. battery out of here. So now that we've got our batteries out, we've got our multimeter, we want this thing set on DC voltage. Now there are three cells in these batteries. That's what these bars across here are. We're going to go through and check them out. So our first one, 4.05. Second one, 3.4, so that looks slow. And our final one, 4.05. So that tells us that this center cell, these cells are made up of uh, numerous batteries, has dropped below a threshold. And what happens is as soon as the two end cells reach that 4.05, the charger kicks it off, henceforth why the center never gets fully charged. So what we're going to try to do is give this thing a slow charge to see if we can bring it back up to that 4 volt mark. That should allow this whole thing to, to equal back out. To do this, I have got a little homemade battery charger. It's actually got uh, adjustable voltage and amperage output. Uh, I've got a video on this. I'll throw it up here if you want to check that out and how to make one of it. Make one of these. It's super cheap, super easy to do. Um, but this is what we're going to use to try to fix this battery. So now we've got our leads hooked up to our charger. I'm putting out 4.6 volts. That's too much. We want to back that back down closer to four. So on my charger here, all I've got to do is slowly adjust this. I'm going to bring that voltage down closer to the 4 volt mark. Just pretty much right on. 4.01, I'll take that. Now we need to see how much amps our charger is putting out. I'm going to try to do this thing really slow. I'm going to do it at a, a half amp. So we'll be at 4 volts and a half amp. So now I've switched over. I knew my battery charger was set at a really low amperage, so I wasn't worried about it. If you didn't know what it was set at, I would back this thing all the way down before I hook it to my voltmeter. I don't want to blow my fuse. So we're still hooked up here. I'm over on amperage now. I'm at uh, 0.3. I'm going to go up to, like I said, 0.5, do a half amp. Just try to charge this thing up really slow. Here we are, our half amp. Okay, now we've isolated what part of our battery we need to be working on. We've got our charger all set up, but we need to check polarity. We need to make sure we've got the positive on the positive, negative on the negative. Easiest way to do that, we're just gonna look at our meter here. 
and then jump back over onto our battery bars. So we can see there, we're reading negative 3.4. That tells me I have my leads hooked up backwards. So this one will actually be my positive. So when I come back, switch my leads around, Now we're at, we've still got that 3.4 voltage, but we're now positive. That tells me this side is my positive lead. Okay, we're gonna get our leads hooked up here. Go with my negative on that side. My positive over here. So now we should slowly be charging this. I'm gonna take my leads back here, look at what my voltage is doing, okay so there you see 3.459 and wait here 3.460 so there you see we're we're starting to charge this battery up I'm gonna go ahead and let this charge for a while see if we can get it back to that four volt reading. We've been charging for about half an hour here. We're at three, five, seven, eight, so it is coming up. Just keep waiting. One eternity later. So I think we're getting close on these two batteries. If we come in here and check it now. 396. I'm going to go ahead and let these go jump all the way up to 4. Then we're going to jump on to the next set. So the way we've got it set up now, we're actually charging the third row here. The other ones that were down were the second row. So we're going to do those next. For our second row, Come over here and hook our negative up. And we're gonna go where we had our negative before and hook our positive. Now at some point when we get these cells uh, charged up, we should get our fourth battery bar back. I don't know what the threshold exactly is when that'll happen, but we'll keep watching for it. We have reached 4 volts on this cell as well. And as we can see, we've now got full bars. So, to fully test this thing, what we need to do is take our power leads off and let this set overnight. Recheck both of our cells that we charged up to make sure that they hold that charge. And if so, we're good to go. 24 hours later. So let's go ahead and check these. We've waited 24 hours. 394. 388. So I don't think they probably charged quite up to four. We may have took them off a little early, but they've hope they've held the charge overnight. So I think we're good to go. Now all we've got to do is put our battery back together. Full pack sets in there. Our taps, top snaps on. Full charged. We're ready to go test this thing. Of course, don't forget, put your four screws back in to the bottom. And we're good to go.